enough is enough yes today is the due day follow me as i bring to you live updates from 36 states and capital the protest is auto if somebody tells you say the protest no day on na lie watch this video i'll be back oh we are in Ikeja right now the protesters has just left um the popular Ikeja on that bridge very close to the computer village and it has been a marathon for us because we had to you know run to catch up with them at every point in time that we're trying to set up this live now we had to pick um you know a tricycle to be ahead of them to be where i am right now at the moment so you can see them right behind me they are trekking from here some say they are going to uh the alausa secretariat that's the seat of government others say they are going from here to k2 but we are not sure what the route will look like until maybe we get to that junction there but at the moment they are singing all manners of protest songs and you can see inscriptions on their placard we need to Grant, not loans. That is one beside me here. I don't know if the camera can see it. We need study grant, not loans. That's talking about the recently uh, launched uh, government. Uh, let, let me speak to one of the leaders of the protest here. His name is Comrade Declan. Declan, good morning. Thank you so much. You have been sweating? Yes, I need to. So tell me, what, what's this, what, what, are your, what are your demands specifically? Our demands are very simple. Our demands are written in the faces of hungry Nigerians. Our demand is written on the faces of the streets of Nigeria. Now, what we are succeeded in doing this morning is to tell the government that you cannot hold the people back. In spite of all their court rulings, court judgment that they got, what we're saying is that they said they designated Ojota and K2, but before you move to K2 or Ojota, you must have a house. And an average Nigerian does not have a house. And so most of us slept under the bridge today, under the bridge of Ikeja, and that's our home. So we have just woken up from our house under the bridge, and we're moving to the place the government has given us as our own flat. So we're moving to our own flat, to the accommodation given to us by the government. But what we're saying is very simple, that the message has been sent that no intimidation can stop Okay. Hungry and angry Nigeria. All right, Declan, I'll come back to you. I'm with you throughout uh, the protest. So that's the situation right now in the city of Ikeja. That's the capital of Lagos. And you can hear him. They are moving from here to Ketu. That's about several kilometers away from here. It's going to be a very long day for the protesters. The security men are here providing security, safety for the protesters. And it does appear that uh, all is calm, all is looking calm and normal around the Lekki area in Lagos, our correspondent Olu Phillips uh, uh, is on standby there and will be covering activities around that particular area. We can see him in short there. Um, it's unclear whether he's ready to speak with us, but we can see uh, vehicles going about their business. That Lekki toll gate was the venue of the NSARS protest, which happened in 2020 and you know was on for a number of days as you said uh, before it went on peacefully um yeah. until a curfew was declared and a particular night when uh it would seem that soldiers uh, security agents uh went there and shot at protesters and before we knew what was happening uh, uh, the aftermath in the morning was wild was something unprecedented it didn't just stop in Lagos. I mean, yeah. the aftermath spread across even areas of the country where there had been no protests. Uh, and so that particular area is quite significant right now in our history of protest. Uh, that area used to see people pay tolls, uh, vehicles, yeah. uh, motorists pay toll. But since that protest has happened and in the aftermath of that protest, there has been no toll. Absolutely. paid at that particular toll gate uh, but it continues to remain a significant high point whenever it is that we talk about protests so uh, we're bringing you the visuals we can see security agents right there uh different source from this different security agencies the police uh, I, i'm not able to tell the, the color of all of the vehicles um, in lagos but we can see certainly police uh, men on standby there conducting themselves uh,
an escape goat. They will target you and they will waste you. Igbos, we have died enough. Our blood has filled the streets enough. Allow those who feel they can do it, let them go and do it. We'll be strong enough. For this protest, let us be weak now. Let those ones who are strong, let them stand on the streets. Igbos, be weak now to sit at home. If I say sit at home, that will be effective. Not the one you have done on Mondays. Let it be the one that will happen at this protest. As one of the leaders of this country, as one of the leaders from the southeastern region that you love and you have confidence in, I am telling you, if you have never shown weakness before, let it be shown now. Igbos, we have shown strength in civil war. We have shown strength in agitation. We have shown strength in fighting for IPOB and Masob and all the rest of them, in sitting at home, please be weak now. Okay. Because they were looking for opportunity to slaughter you. Sit at home. Yeah, thank you very much and good morning. 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 We are, I am standing, it's called a Freedom Square in Imo State, Oweri. As you can see, this is where the supposedly protesters are supposed to have converged. But at my back, you can see there's nobody there. New protests going on all across the state, very peaceful. What we are experiencing in Imo State is sit at home. Sit at home in the sense that people refuse to come out. Probably because of the events that took place yesterday and, and yes, yesterday and day before yesterday, where the unknown government unleash terror on the people, killing many, injuring many. As a result of that, perhaps the people decided not to come out for the protest. Tell us, and again, tell us more economic about activities in Imo State, as at now, 
have been paralyzed. Banks under lock and key. Markets have not opened. You cannot even see any single human being on the street. Vehicular movements are no more. That is the situation here in Imo State. But Saturday, will you say the people sitting at home is in itself a form of protest? After all, in the uh, southeastern states, uh, sit at home on Mondays is a, is a form of protest. Hello, Saturday. Sitting at home in Oweri, in, in Imo State, sitting at home in Imo State, we cannot equate it to be as a result of the protest. The reason being that, the reason being that we have been experiencing sitting at home. This is not the first time we are sitting at home. Given the fact that the indigenous people of Biafra, all their eyes are right here in Imo. So that have made the people to be sit to stay at home with yet coming out. So when you they hear about anything like protest, when they hear about anything like this nature, they will definitely go back to their shapes by not coming out. So we cannot equate it to be as a result of this protest. Yeah, thank you very much and good morning. Morning. We are I am standing is called a Freedom Square in Imo State, Oweri. As you can see, this is where the supposedly protesters are supposed to have converged. But at my back, you can see there's nobody there. New protests going on all across the state, very peaceful. What we are experiencing in Imo State is sit at home. Sit at home in the sense that people refuse to come out. Probably because of the events that took place yesterday and, be, and yes, yesterday and day before yesterday, where the unknown government unleashed terror on the people, killing many, injuring many. As a result of that, perhaps the people decided not to come out for the protest. Tell us, and again, tell us economic about activities in the most state as at now have been paralyzed. Banks under lock and key. Markets have not opened. You cannot even see any single human being on the street. Vehicular movements are no more. That is the situation here in Imo State. But Saturday, will you say the people sitting at home is in itself a form of protest? After all, in the uh, southeastern states, uh, sit at home on Mondays is a it's a form of protest. Hello, Saturday. Sitting at home in Oweri, in, in Imo State, sitting at home in Imo State, we cannot equate it to be as a result of the protest. The reason being that, the reason being that we have been experiencing sitting at home. This is not the first time we are sitting at home. Given the fact that the indigenous people of Biafra all their eyes are right here in Imo. So that have made the people to be sit to stay at home with yet coming out. So when you they hear about anything like protest, when they hear about anything like this nature, they will definitely go back to their shapes <coughs> by not coming out. So we cannot equate it to be as a result of this protest. Yeah, thank you very much and good morning. 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 We are I am standing is called a Freedom Square in Imo State, Oweri. As you can see, this is where the supposedly protesters are supposed to have converged. But at my back, you can see there's nobody there. New protests going on all across the state, very peaceful. What we are experiencing in Imo State is sit at home. Sit at home in the sense that people refuse to come out. Probably because of the events that took place yesterday and, be, and yes, yesterday and day before yesterday, where the unknown government unleashed terror on the people, killing many, injuring many. As a result of that, perhaps the people decided not to come out 
for the protest. Tell us, and again, tell us economic activities in Imo President. State, as at now, have been paralyzed. Banks under lock and key. Markets have not opened. You cannot even see any single human being on the street. Vehicular movements are no more. That is the situation here in Imo State. But Saturday, will you say the people sitting at home is in itself a form of protest? After all, in the uh, southeastern states, uh, sit at home on Mondays is a, is a form of protest. Hello, Saturday. Sitting at home in Oweri, in, in Imo State, sitting at home in Imo State, we cannot equate it to be as a result of the protest. The reason being that the reason being that we have been experiencing sitting at home. This is not the first time we are sitting at home. Given the fact that the indigenous people of Biafra, all their eyes are right here in Imo. So that have made the people to be sit to stay at home without coming out. So when you they hear about anything like protest, when they hear about anything like this nature they will definitely go back to their shapes by not coming out. So we cannot equate it to be as a result of this protest. Yeah. Thank you very much and good morning. 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 We are, I am standing, it's called a Freedom Square in Imo State, Oweri. As you can see, this is where the supposedly protesters are supposed to have converged. But at my back, you can see there's nobody there. New protests going on all across the state, very peaceful. What we are experiencing in Imo State is sit at home. Sit at home in the sense that people refuse to come out. Probably because of the events that took place yesterday and, and yes, yesterday and day before yesterday, where the unknown government unleashed terror on the people, killing many, injuring many. As a result of that, perhaps the people decided not to come out for the protest. Tell us, and again, tell us economic about activities in the most state as at now have been paralyzed. Banks under lock and key. Markets have not opened. You cannot even see any single human being on the street. Vehicular movements are no more. That is the situation here in Imo State. Well, Saturday, will you say the people sitting at home is in itself a form of protest? After all, in the uh, southeastern states, uh, sit at home on Mondays is a, is a form of protest. Hello, Saturday. Sitting at home in Oweri, in, in Imo State, sitting at home in Imo State, we cannot equate it to be as a result of the protest. The reason being that, the reason being that we have been experiencing sitting at home. This is not the first time we are sitting at home. Given the fact that the indigenous people of Biafra, all their eyes are right here in Imo. So that have made the people to be sit to stay at home without coming out. So when you, they hear about anything like protest, when they hear about anything like this nature, they will definitely go back to their shapes okay. by not coming out. So we cannot equate it to be as a result of this protest. On coming out this morning, despite calls from different quarters for residents to share off the protest. Uh, good morning to you. Just kindly introduce yourself. My name is Victor Um, um PHS Press, a logistic company in Port Harcourt. All right, so why are you still out this morning? I understand that uh, you know, a lot of persons have been calling on residents to shelf the protest, to embrace dialogue and all that. But this morning, you are still here. What exactly uh, are, are your reasons? Okay, first, I don't have anywhere else to because I'm moving out of job. My company have shut down due to the high cost of um, transportation. I run an FMCG, so we can't even keep the company afloat. Have anywhere to go than to stay here and um, tell the government my plea. Tell them what I'm going through. You understand? Like I, I expect, I expect. I've not heard from the president. 
Yes, I did not vote for him, but he's the president. I've not heard from him for the past one year. All I've been saying is, I say this. I want to hear the president talk, address fundamental issues. Let me know that he's feeling our pain. That's why I'm here. Okay, do you have any fears? Uh, you know, uh, in the build up to this protest, we've heard a lot of comments about uh, this protest will be hijacked, this protest will be infiltrated, this protest will be violent. As you are you're here this morning, do you have any such concerns? Do you have any such fears? All right, so um, I don't have any because I know that Portaco people are peaceful people. If there is any hijack it is not from us wherever it's not from us nobody that is hungry nobody that is here who want to cause violence however if you if you do something like that everybody goes out then people that want to do protests will come back right here since seven o'clock we've been here and you can see nobody's with arm nobody's with bottle we just have placards they are trying to tell the government that so i'm not scared at all but however if anything happens to we're still here because is that I, it's better i die on the streets than die at home okay, okay lastly lastly from me uh, uh What's your assessment of the conduct of security agencies so far? Any, any concerns? Uh, what's your assessment of how they've been able to conduct themselves in providing security for this uh, outing? All right, to be fair, they've been nice. You can see them around protecting us. Even a truck of um, policemen came and they were healing us to show that they are in solidarity. So, so far, so good. Everything is going fine. All right, thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, you've just heard from one of the guys here who uh, is participating in this uh, uh, peaceful protest for good governance. And, uh, of course, many people are saying that they, are, they want the government to do all they can do, all they should do to end uh, the hunger in the land. So this, this is the situation from the Port Harcourt Express Expressway, right in front of the Federal Secretariat, where protesters have taken a break.